up in the hills. Beautiful afternoon. It's uh, mid-October, but it's probably 65 degrees. Uh, kind of a, not the normal thing right now to have sunny weather, but, and it's pretty moist up here in the woods, but thought I'd come down and check it out. I've been to this area numerous times. Uh, the big test will be when I get up where I got to cross, uh, how deep it is. So, basically, I get going, got my bucket here, and, uh, Give you a shot. Try to walk through here. Kind of see what what's going on. Really pretty with the sun coming through. Yeah, I think the water level might be a little bit higher because we have rains and stuff and but it's not bad. So yeah, actually the water level is just a hair higher than when I was here before. Uh, not sure it's gonna change anything so oh. kind of cool uh, I seen a agate here that I'm gonna pick up right here one thing I do notice is at least right here, where the sun hasn't really hit, uh, the rocks are still moist, so, you know, they look wet. Maybe not soaking wet, but a glossy enough wet that uh, I haven't been up here like this, so I'm going to be able to see some rocks that they're going to jump out at me that... Uh, that I didn't see before. So, I didn't get too far and noticed, okay, at least in this area, all of a sudden, I uh, got a new issue, and that's leaves. And I'd say these leaves are covering a third, covering down in the, in between, the big ones are sticking out, but, Kind of a cool little striped guy I might keep, but so <laughs> I'm gonna head up that way. I'm gonna cross there, I believe. But I did see a piece of jasper over here that I want to take a closer look at. Right there. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Uh, it's it's pretty neat. I mean, I know what's going to happen is I'm going to watch this on the video like you are now, and I'm going to go, why didn't I take that? But here, looking at it in person, yeah, it's definitely cool, but I am not committed to it yet. So I'm going to set it on the highest rock here. And here's another one that... Could be something. I don't know, I guess I'll set it to you in case I don't find anything. Uh, this fall, the leaves coming down. Uh, there's a lot of evergreens in here and then some uh, alder trees that uh, ah, the leaves never get that pretty but these are like maple uh, maybe I'll come across some nice red trees or something but uh, still pretty remember one day I was standing up here a little ways and kind of walking down through and man all of a sudden I saw it spotted something red out in the water and I thought, it got to be like a Coke can. It just was so red. And I uh, went out and got it. And it was one of the most beautiful red jaspers that I found. I see something red, but you know what? I think that is a leaf. It's not that red anyway. Now these rocks, I was kind of hoping these were damp, but I guess they are a little bit. And so I'll walk up through here, but it's further up is where I really want to, uh, where I really hope they're damp. So I'm, Kind of scoping out here where I'm going to go next, and uh, I do see some red jaspers here and there, and I know that there's red jasper in this area. So that's not much. The piece over here. That it doesn't look like much, but it could be like a little bit dirty or something. No. See another piece there. Uh, I see a bigger piece over here that I'm not sure I've checked out before. So, I'm try to take a look at it. Right there, it looks pretty wedged in. But, oh, oh, oh it's big. But it is a nice, nice piece of uh, red jasper. It's big though. I definitely couldn't move it. Okay, now this was deep before to where uh, it was close to the top of my boots. So I think I'm going to have to go up a little bit. Try that. Check out what's up here. Let's come across this Jasper. I don't know. Uh, gotta walk up through these rapids. 
looks kind of red over here. It's a touch of green. It's uh, definitely a brick red. Which I don't need. So I'm kind of in the middle of these rapids and it's definitely some force against my legs and stuff walking through here but uh, this might be my fourth time doing it so kind of know where to go and what to expect hopefully that works. Awfully pretty up there. I see uh, trees on that mountain. I see maple trees with yellow leaves. Man, that's pretty. I know riding a uh, mountain bike on some of the uh, fire roads up here. Oh, it can just be so, so pretty. So here's something I definitely notice in this area is before these rocks were all dry and there was no water running through them. There was water over there and water over here. So uh, the couple times we've had heavy rains, they've changed this. So. There's definitely possibilities to see new, new uh, stones here. Yeah, this gravel bar over here was all dry uh, the few times I've been up here before. And now that it's damp, it's definitely opening up uh, what's here. And here, I see a decent... Keepable red jasper. That side not so much, but I uh, can definitely make something from that. And this uh, quartz here kind of caught my eye. Oh, see something else. Uh, This super cool red and green stripes. Yeah, that's that's real nice. I'm keeping that. Yeah, even right next to my bucket here, I found a. Uh, Jasper, that's that's a pretty cool pattern. Cut that up. I think I'll keep that. But what I was looking at was this. This looks like an agate. Yeah. Nice looking. Yep. See a little. I mean, you could make a little natural pendant out of that. So this was all dry before and just with it being damp, uh, it's definitely made it interesting. Now what's this? I see a little red down here. That's some pretty bright red. Ah, come on.
not mad for putting on that rock right there and looking at it. I uh, see one over there I might want to check out. Grab my bucket. Yeah, this is, looks kind of cool. Colorful Jasper. That's a maybe. Nice green in that. It's a definite maybe. I'm gonna grab this one. Oh, that's a cool little one. Maybe. I don't know, it's worth taking. Just was looking at this one. Uh nah. I'm gonna have to look through here. This one is a definite maybe. I'll put over here. And that little red one. Oh, there's a there's a bright red one. Come on, be big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not that bright. Well, I come across a green one here that's kind of interesting. I like the uh, the band of green on it. Wash it off here. I mean, it's kind of a conglomerate, it looks like. But it's also got this nice band of green. And so I'm going to take this one. And not not far away from that one is this one. And that's uh that's a pretty neat shade of green blue and I'm looking at this end and thinking uh, if that's cut that's this the rest of this I think is just a little dirty and I think that could be pretty pretty cool so I'm not gonna totally commit to it yet but I'm guessing I'm going to be taking that as I look for more here. This might be an agate right here. Reddish agate. It's funny because all the other rocks are... I have to show you this up close. I mean, they're maybe a little bit moist. I mean, these are like dry, 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 dry. But then look at that agate, how it's got uh, moisture drops, dew drops, whatever, all over it. So that tells you that it's a different uh, consistency rock that it's an agate. Tells me that anyway. Uh, there's, oops, that's kind of interesting. Rock. Uh, yeah, got many of those. I'm probably gonna get that one wet. 
uh, driftwood. Got some like mold issues. Yeah, let's see, jasper, lightning jasper. Okay, I'm gonna go across here and get this wet. Pretty cool. Okay, I'll just see where my bucket is down here. I was gonna leave it, but I think now maybe I'll, well now I'll still leave. Cause I'm thinking about taking that one and so, see what else we got here. We found this striped rock that's kind of cool. I'm trying to think of something to do with it. Something you could make out of it. Um, I mean, maybe uh, what first comes to mind is a coaster. Oh, I got, just got fooled by a leaf. Saw the red down there. I haven't been able to get in this because it's, it's too deep, like all season. And so, and it don't look like I will be able to. Oh, it looks like a couple of rocks I set here in the past. I'll take a look at it. I don't I don't think I want to take this one. It's a cool uh, yeah, it's not even that cool. So this one I it looks like it's got a pattern, so check it out again. <sighs> Yeah, kind of neat, different. I mean, I see why I kept it, but then again, it's like, oh man, what do you do with that? And if I was closer to my vehicle, I'd be like, okay, I'll just take it. But uh, it is going to be a little hike out of here, especially if I take that bigger rock I was looking at. So, but I'm still gonna think about that and that striped one while I'm looking for more. This almost looks like an agate, a big one. I would say it probably is. Uh, I saw a big one over here too. this <sighs> kind of cool yeah this this big agate here I mean I've pretty much been taking agates just because there's not a ton of them so I'll probably take this one and I might, might be able to get this one out. <sighs> get that sucker out. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's not that smooth. So I'm gonna, do a little walk in here. 
Oh, I remember that. That one is like that other big stone. Just it's just not tall. It's just big. It's uh, pretty darn cool. So I'm gonna go back up here. Look through here. Yeah, now I think it's time to decide. Does it stay or should it go? I think I gotta get that spot wet. Yeah, that red there, that, I mean this little section is nice. The rest of it. Okay. That is nice enough to bring over anyway. While well, I'm still looking. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh. Yeah, that green and red right there. So, I may go grab my bucket. Buy rock that I'm not taking because they're too big. There's a few of them. But uh, I got one over there I'm going to compare to this big one that I am taking. And uh, I've had the bucket much fuller, but I haven't been out in a month and a half, two months for various reasons. And so I'm kind of taking it easy a little bit. That's kind of cool, but not going to take it. So... I gotta cross these rapids again. So here I go. Yeah, I've been making my way back and oh you see that big log over there. That was that. I found this one uh, kind of in this mess and it's looks like jasper with it's like uh, varying shades of purple and green and, and it could be really cool cut up so it's not that big and I'm getting closer to my truck I found another one here I'm gonna rinse it off and Yeah, it's got a uh, nice little red there in the end. Possibly turn into something. Yeah, now here's one that uh, I've walked right by half a dozen times when it was dry. And now that it's damp and seemed to be wet, Looks like it's got 
pretty darn cool pattern. Yeah, look at those, uh, look at that green. Definitely cool. Hopefully you can see that. So that's one we're taking. Thought I saw something else here. Ah, that is kind of cool. It's not wet, but It almost looks like some jasper. The oil bucket's going to be a little heavier, but uh, we've got too much farther. I'm going to be hungry when I get home. Well, I'm hungry now. So. <laughs> Not sure if I put, I might have put these here, but uh, just a couple of agates. Big one. And... <clears throat> well, I'm getting up on the trail now and getting close to my truck. Uh, got some logs I've been climbing over and I still got to uh, go up this embankment and then uh, head over a ways. And gonna head up through there. Getting there. So I'm back to my truck and It's a tough haul. <laughs> Till next time.